diagnosed May 21st, 2014. In April, um, I discovered a lump. I was diagnosed in August of 2013, um, which came as a surprise because in May of 2013, I had a negative mammogram. And after you have your mammogram, everybody, you know, you're like, hey, <laughs> I'm good for a year, I'm good to go. When I found out that I was diagnosed with breast cancer, um, everything stopped for a little while. Um, I didn't really know how to take it and how to think about it and how to change my life to go with cancer. Um, but I decided one day that I just needed to wake up and keep going. Everybody has dealt things in their life and this was something that I was dealt with. A couple weeks later I had a doctor's appointment and I had her check it out. She immediately sent me for um, the not mammoth sonograms and all that wonderful fun stuff. Went through that through May and then the phone call came June 6th that I had breast cancer. Um, I was shocked. Um, seeing this every day in my field of work, never dreamed that it would happen to me. Um, but I finally was blessed with a very dear friend who took the bull by the horn and put me in contact with many wonderful doctors at Faxon um, St. Luke's Resor Cancer Resource Center. Hi, I'm Rihanna and I'm a comet. This is my mom, Michelle. Um, finding out your mom has breast cancer at a young age is heartbreaking. It's the end of everyone's world. Um, you don't think it could happen to your mom. You hear stories and you never think it's going to hit your family. Um, and it does. And you panic. Um, for me, my brother wasn't home, so I dealt with a lot um, by myself. I shouldn't say by myself. Mom was home, but she was dealing with a lot of her own thing. Um, and you really just, you have to pick up everyone else's responsibilities. Um, but you also just really have to be there for your family. And that's the, that's the most important thing, is being, being the rock when your parents can't be the rock. Obviously it was rough. We found out, what, a month or two after you after you, you knew, so it was, it was definitely a shock. Um, it's never an easy thing to go through for anybody. Um, can't imagine what it was like to go through for her. Uh, but she's been a warrior throughout the whole thing. She's just, she's figured it out, and I just hope we were able to support her in even the smallest ways possible. <laughs> and just, it's just a, it was just a rough, rocky road for a few months, and uh, hopefully we're on the end of it here. <laughs> when she finished her first or her last round of chemo, um, it was so relieving, um, <laughs> so relieving for everyone, for her, for the family, um, and just a lot, a lot less stress. A huge stress was lifted off of us. Um, it. It just seemed like it was such a long road and we finally made it. And now everything's done and we're here and we're happy and everything's great. Being 34 and diagnosed with breast cancer, I would recommend all women, if you feel something in your body and in your soul that something's wrong, to go and get it checked out. You're not supposed to get a mammogram until you're 40. If I had waited six years, I don't know if I'd still be here today. So just knowing who you are and how you feel and really listening to your inner self really could save your life. My advice to all women of any age is to stay strong. Listen to your body. If you feel something's not right, take action. It's your body. You have control. I hid pain. And everybody said, pain is not significant of breast cancer. Well, in my case, it was to all women, young, especially young women, do your breast exams, follow up with your physician. It can strike at any age. I was 47. I didn't think this would happen to me, and it did. But you find the strength, you go on every day, you have family, you have friends, you learn to not sweat the small stuff anymore. Life goes on, and you have to continue to go on also. And I'm still dealing with a lot, but I'm, I'm going to get through it. I've got a lot of family support, a lot of friends support, and it's a whole new world, and I'm going to make it. We all are. Mm -hmm.